Hello! Welcome to Hong Cooking with Song Jit. Today I'm going to cook a very simple stir fry sawi with fish ball. So I have about 500 grams of sawi or green mustard. I have about 20 pieces of fish ball, 6 pieces of shallots, half teaspoon of salt, quarter teaspoon of sesame seed oil, quarter teaspoon of pepper, one tablespoon of oyster sauce. For the vegetable, when I bought it from the market, it's quite um, not very fresh. But when I came back, I just soak it in the water for about a couple of hours. So now the vegetable become very nice and fresh. And it's very, um, if you do like this, right, the vegetable can be very crunchy. So I'm going to go ahead and cut the vegetable and the fish ball. Alright, cutting sawi, we're going to separate the leaf and the stem. So I'm just going to go ahead and cut, separate the leaf and the stem. For the stem, I'm just going to cut it like about one and a half inches uh, length and the leaf. I'm going to cut it like three parts, cut it into three, just like that. And this one is this small, just cut into half. So the vegetable is ready, so I'm going to quickly wash it and then we can go and cook it. Heat the pan and I'm going to put in about 2 tablespoons of cooking oil. When oil is hot, I'm putting in the shallots. We're going to fry the shallots until uh, crispy and brown. This will take a couple of minutes. Alright, the shallot is getting brown and crispy so I'm going to switch off the heat and take them out from the pan first. Put it in the strainer so it will be crispy. In the same pan, still have a bit of shallots and oil, and I'm going to put in the fish ball. I'm going to fry the fish ball first until it's cooked. Now we put in the savi stem. Put in just half of the salt and oyster sauce. I'm just going to put half a leaf. Give it a stir. Pepper. Sesame seed oil. Just going to put in very little of water, about two tablespoons of water, and cover the lid. Let the savi stem to cook and soft. Will take about one or two minutes. All right, it is soft. The savi stem is soft, and the fish ball is cooked. If you want it softer, you can um, continue to cook longer. Now we're going to put in the sawi, the leaf. These are vegetables, they look a lot, but once it's cooked and you know it will come really little already. I'm gonna put in the balance of the salt and the balance of the oyster sauce. Give it a stir. That's ready. I'm going to give it a taste now. Mm, delicious. It's enough salt, enough taste, and enough flavor. Alright, so that is done. The vegetable is cooked and the fish ball is cooked. 
I'm going to switch off the heat. And now we're going to sprinkle the shallots, fried shallots. Just gonna take the vegetable and the fish ball and a bit of fried shallots. Mmm, delicious. The vegetable is still crunchy. For savi vegetable, right, they're known for slight bitter, so slightly bitter of the vegetable combine very well with the sweetness from the fried shallots and very nice fragrance and overall it's very tasty and the fish ball is lovely so for those who like slightly bitter vegetable you may want to try this one thank you for watching if you like this video please share with your friends and remember to subscribe for more of my variety cooking like this thank you and bye bye